Dogs are paving the way for a potential new cancer treatment for people. The revolutionary therapy is being tested right here in Philadelphia. Yeah, this is amazing. Health reporter mm -hmm. Stephanie Stahl is here with the details on this new research. Also, it's first for four legged patients, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it is very exciting. This is being called a game changer that could eventually save lives for pets and people. It is a joint project between Penn Vet and Penn Medicine. Dogs with cancer are getting a new kind of human proton radiation that could update the treatment for people. All right, Mapes, come here. Maple is back at Penn Vet for a checkup. The 13 year old lab has a rare cancer in her mouth called oral osteosarcoma. Being able to have her still with me and have her happy and healthy and have her be a part of this has been really important and really special. Maple's owner, Megan Ruler, who's also a vet, decided to let her be the first to test a new radiation therapy that could eventually be used on people. So, this is a really exciting therapy. It's called flash radiotherapy. And the idea is that we can give the radiation at a very, very high dose rate. And what that does, we think, is it will hit the tumor the same, but it will spare the normal tissue. So you get the same effect on tumor with less side effects. The radiation happens at Penn Medicine's Roberts Proton Therapy Center after human patients have left. This is the most precise form of advanced radiation therapy. It's incredibly fast dose rate using proton radiotherapy. We're pioneering it here. If the research is successful on animals, it's expected to pave the way for a new kind of proton treatment for humans. Maple has had two doses. Her tumor is still there, but what we've done is really greatly reduce the bleeding from the tumor, uh, the irritation, the inflammation and pain, um, and so uh, Maple's home life is a lot uh, more improved just with her eating, drinking, playing with toys, those kind of things. Before getting sick, Maple was a service dog for children with autism. Megan says her gentle, friendly personality was perfect with kids, and her dedication to service lives on. The fact that she was able to participate in this clinical trial felt full circle for me. You know, she's able to give back and be of service even in her retired years. Wow. Now, Maple is one of three dogs to be part of the research so far. Penn is hoping to include a total of nine dogs. They are currently recruiting dogs with head and neck cancers. We have more information for you at CBSPhiladelphia.com. How about that? Amazing. Human's best friend. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing.